coach will give a few opening remarks and um and then uh and then we'll go to questions use the raise hand in the app raise hand function in the app and that's how i will call on you so coach if you want to get us started please go ahead yeah well first off obviously i, I was talking to uh, jay billis and uh, and, and Dan Schulman this morning in preparation for our game tonight, you know, since they were doing the, um, uh, they were doing the games. And so we were having, you know, the normal zoom call with the announcers. And as I was talking to him on zoom, I kept telling him, Hey, can you hold on? And I felt awful because it was rude what I was doing. And I kept saying, can you hold on a second? And, um, and I put on mute. I was, cause I saw the ACC kept calling me. I was like, what, there had to be something going on. Like, and then eventually I, um, um, I, uh, yeah, they told me what was going on and then I tried to go back and I was trying, they told me not to say anything. And then the, then I said, then they called again and they said, Hey, they're releasing it. So I took and Jay and Dan and all that. So make a long story short, um, you know, look, we're in the championship game. That's not how we wanted to get there. We would have preferred to win the game. First and foremost, we want to make sure that Virginia, um, whoever was positive, you know, that is, you know, hopefully it's just, if, if there is any symptoms, it's mild and hopefully it's just asymptomatic. Same thing with Duke because nothing's more important than the safety and the health of everybody. I mean, that's, that supersedes winning and getting to the championship and all that and competing. I mean, safety and health is first and foremost, but, um, but, you know, you're going to play the game tomorrow. And so obviously, um, you know, we would have preferred to win the game to get to the championship game, but it, we're just in a crazy time. And so, uh, we took our test today. We had we had practiced from a 45 minutes, and then we took our test and and waiting for all the results to come back. And the results come back negative. We'll be playing the game tomorrow at 8:30 on ESPN on national television in prime time with a great opportunity to win an ACC championship. And so, um, look, uh, you know, Tony Bennett obviously in their program, and I hope they really get to play in the NC2A tournament. I mean, it would be devastating for them to not play they deserve to be in the nc2a tournament obviously they're going to be in regardless but really hope they get a play for their for their for their student athletes because they've earned the right to be a really good seed and they're a really good team i mean tony bennett's you know i've said it multiple times you know he's going to be in the hall of fame he's one of the best coaches in the game and um their team deserves to be in the tournament um and i hope they get a play so i don't know how all that will work with you know, county health and NC2A and team doctors with Virginia, but my fingers are crossed for Virginia gets to play next week. Okay, uh, we'll move to questions. Please use the raise hand uh, function in the app. Um, and we're going to start with Raphael Haynes with the three point conversion. Go ahead, Raphael. Hey, coach. Good to see you. Hope all is well. Coach, be. Like you said earlier, um, this is not the way you want to, want to enter into the um, championship game. But what is the message that you gave the students, knowing that, you know, they got in because of a you know unfortunate pandemic yeah. situation? So what is that message you give them, you know, just to let them know, hey, just we didn't just get here just because, or or whatever you get, talk to them about. Yeah, no, Raphael, that, that good question, and and you're right. We we you prefer to win the game to get in, but but. It is what it is, and, but you're in the championship. There's going to be a championship. It's a great recognition and, and exposure for Georgia Tech's program. I mean, especially the amount of wins we've had in the ACC over the last two years. I mean, you know, and so to continue to build on that momentum. But as I told our guys today, I was on the team that won the 1997 National Championship. We won the title in 97. You know how many minutes I played? Zero. I said, nobody knows that. I don't tell anybody how many. I mean, you don't, no one looks at the box score. They just know I was on the team that won the national title. And that's the same thing here. A few years down the road, nobody's going to know, did you win the semifinal game or not? They're just going to look at the – there's going to be – you know, if you win the game tomorrow, there's going to be a name in the 20, 2021 ACC Tournament Championship. Uh, and it will either be Georgia Tech, North Carolina, or Florida State. And, you know, however you got there, like I said, years down the road, they're not going to look at how you got there. There's, there's going to be – that name of that school in that championship if you're fortunate enough to win that game. So we got to go hopefully have a chance to just, we want to go win the game and put our name in that record book. And that's kind of the message I told the guys comparing myself to the, when we won the title in 97. And just quick, quick follow-up. If I'm sorry, if I missed it, did you get a chance to talk to um, coach K and um, James coach? 
Oh, uh, Coach Bennett and Coach uh, yeah. Coach Krzyzewski. No, I I, I had um, I, well, actually, Virginia staying at our hotel, and um, um, so I saw some of their just. I saw Virginia, a couple of their uh, support staff and assistant coaches, and I just told them, "Hey, man, I'm sorry to hear what happened. You guys, you know, had an awesome year." And I just told them, "Hopefully, the young the 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 person, whoever it was, you know, that he's okay and that there's no symptoms. So we're praying for you guys." And that was it. You know. Thanks. Yep. Next to David Teal from the Richmond Times-Dispatch. Go ahead, David. Josh, given that your team and not only your team, but Florida State and North Carolina are assured of <clears throat> being in the NCAA tournament, was there any thought of shutting down this tournament uh, as too risky, given the protocols for next week? Well, David, I've been saying to our guys, and I, and I you know, we have to get to Indy. That's first and foremost, because once you get to Indy, you're, it's so the way the NC2A has laid it out to the teams, how it's going to be like, there's, you know, it's almost like the burden of the head coach can, like you can take a sigh of relief because you pass it on to the NC2A now, because everything falls really on the head coach right now, just in it, which is nothing's wrong. That's part of your job. It's just, you know, because you have so many decisions to make with these protocols so we got to get to Indy. But that being said, no, our guys want to compete. It wasn't even a thought. We want to get, we want to compete. We want to play. We want to have a chance to play for a championship. So we want to play tomorrow. Not even a thought for a second that we would not play in the tournament or even when this happened that we wouldn't continue to play. But we do got to just protect ourselves. And our guys know we've been on the road since Thursday. We played Wake Forest on Friday. We left Atlanta Thursday. and We haven't come back. And I, we're, we try to create our own bubble. So what we've done is we left Thursday and we, I told our team, we're not coming back until we win the either, either we win the national championship on April 5th and we'll come back the six, or if we lose prior to there in the NCAA tournament, we'll, we'll fly home the next day, but we're not coming back until then creating our own bubble. I told our guys, you can't share elevators with anyone. No one, you know, you cannot, no family members. So like yesterday after the game, the guys, the families that came, they could only see in, outside between a barrier by the buses with mask on. I, it's, it's, it's awful and it stinks, but it's the only way to protect the bubble. And, um, um, and that's just how we're going to do it. And I've reminded the guys, you got to avoid, like the other teams, you might see someone you know, but you can't be having conversations with them in close quarters. You just can't. You just can't. So we've tried to do everything we can, David, but you know, you got to get a little lucky along the way. And, and, uh, but no, we were going to, we want to stay and compete and try to win a championship tomorrow. But the goal, we got to get to Indy because once you get in there, you're, you're, you're darn protected as, as best as you can the way they're going to do the protocols. So there was no talk even beforehand between you and Todd about, you know, a conference tournament this close to the NCAA tournament just seems risky. No, we had no discussions on that. Next to Kelly Quinlan with Rivals. Go ahead, Kelly. I guess, Josh, what are your <laughs> what are your emotions like about all of this? Uh, this has been an unbelievable dogfight just to to get to play these games and to get in this situation, and then seeing teams kind of get pushed out by this. And Virginia may not be able to go to the tournament. That's kind of uncertain now. I guess, kind of, how do you how do you handle all that, and how do you handle that with your players too? Yeah, you know, Kelly, I mean, it's, I mean, I, I mean, it's, you know, not only the, 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 you know, cause I knew, you know, look, we, last year we finished fifth and we had, a, we finished 11 wins, but I also knew this year, as I told all my bosses back initially, we had to get to, we were going to get to the tournament this year. And so not only that, we had to get to the tournament this year, the NCAA tournament, we needed to cap wise on last year's momentum. Plus we had the, the two losses early. I mean, it's just been, you know, and then on top of that, trying to get to make sure you get to the games in the COVID protocols. I mean, it's been an, it's been, you know, it's been a lot. And, and that's part of, you know, I look at it as part of the, the job being the head coach, you're the CEO, you're in charge of the program. So you're going to have to make those decisions and be on top of it. But, you know, it's, it's the, the extra stuff with the COVID stuff has really been, I mean, it's, there's a lot. Cause you know, when you're thinking about who's sitting where on the plane, who's sitting where on the bus, were you sitting in the meal rooms, uh, the bench, um, you know, you have, you're wearing those trackers. So if you see a red light, getting the guy, Hey man, scoot over there. I can't tell how many times I'm talking to someone. I, how many times I backed up, like I back up just to make sure I keep 
past six feet. Um, and look, I really believe it cost us our first two games because we didn't practice with any contact. We stayed distant from everybody. Um, and then obviously we said we had a, I mean, we would not have survived the season with wins if we didn't practice somewhat. It wouldn't, and it would have been fair to the guys without practicing too with contact. But uh, so it's a, it's a lot, but we're, but you're at this point and we just got to get to the finish line and the finish line is getting, we got to get on that plane to get to Indianapolis. And, and we're right there and we got to have a chance tomorrow to win a championship. So we got to want to do that. You're, you're trying to man, you're trying to handle that and then get on that plane to get to Indianapolis. So it's, it's a, you know, kind of a twofold deal. Dan Wolken, USA Today. Go ahead, Dan. I think you're on mute, Dan. Unmute, Dan. Sorry about that. Uh, David Teal kind of stole my question, so I'll ask a different one. Um, do you have any explanation as to why the ACC uh, has been different than maybe some of these other leagues? Uh, because, you know, we haven't seen other teams really in, in this situation. Um, and, and is it a rule that one positive test is disqualifying people? Do you, do you have any insight into that? No, Dan, I, I don't know. Cause I, we're, we're the only power five conference and uh, heck if you include even the one, you know, whatever the top 10 conferences, top 12, whatever that are have that have had any issue um, in the conference tournaments. So I, I, there's no rule that I, that I'm aware of because one positive should not can't, cancel you out unless it's a contact trace where nobody can play. So I don't know the situation on that on why that is. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I you know, and I, and I, and around the country, we're the only league that's had two teams bow out in a sense based on COVID-19. Um, so, yeah, I don't know on that. I don't know what the, what the reasoning of the final dis determination is based on, the medical advisory group. Does it give you anxiety at this point, just about your situation, seeing what's happened with, with these other teams? Yeah. Anxiety is an understatement. By natural, I'm just a warrior in self, which, you know, by just natural per personality. And I mean, you know, from all the time in Memphis, I was a warrior. So, I mean, it's, a, you know, and, and it's easier to say, hey, you know, people say it's out of your control and, you know, don't worry, you know, it's, just, you know, and I understand that and I get that, but when you're, when, as hard it is, and you know this, Dan, I mean, how hard it is to get to the NC2A tournament for Georgia Tech, where, I mean, I want our guys to experience it. I know it's, we, it's been such a grind to get to this point. So we're right there and we're literally, what, what, 48 to 72 hours till we get on the plane to go to Indy. So we just got to finish it out. And the finishing out is we just got to quarantine in our rooms and go eat and then get, and go back and go to the gym and just keep testing negative. Um, and so, uh, but at the same time, we want to win tomorrow. I mean, we're going to want to win. You want to win a championship. So I, I think anxiety is probably a little bit of an understatement just because, you know, it's, it is out of your control. And it's something that, you know, with the virus, you just, you do the very best you can, but you can't see it. So it's, you just, you just do the very, very, very best you can. It's all you can do. And you do the best you can at keeping everyone away from six feet as much as you can as well. Next to Ken Segura with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Go ahead, Ken. Josh, I'm curious kind of how your team reacted to this situation. I mean, like I imagine, like you're saying, I'm sure they wanted to play, but on the other hand, having a spot in the championship game isn't the worst outcome either. No, I mean, look, Ken, because um, I, I, I was on with Jay Billis and, and Dan Schulman this morning, and I found out, and I was, you know, I, went, I had to text our guys in a group text so when we got off the Zoom call, I had to text our guys in the group text telling them, you know, what was going on. And of course, you know, um, you know, yeah, we, we would have loved to play tonight. We wanted another opportunity. You know, you're playing Virginia. They're the, they're the defending national champions. They're the league champions. They beat us twice this year. It's the one school we haven't beaten in the ACC. I mean, we wanted an opportunity, but, but obviously health and safety supersedes all that. So, you know, obviously we, we are, our thoughts are with, in, are with Virginia to make sure that the young or whoever it may be is, is healthy and there's nothing wrong, but, um, and no symptoms. But for us, I think after the initial shock, we we're like, okay, we'll, we're moving to the championship game and it's a great opportunity. It's 8.30 on ESPN primetime Saturday night. 
I mean, more, more exposure for Georgia Tech. It, there's no downside. <laughs> so let's try to go win the game. And, um, yes, you want to win the game tonight to have gotten there technically, but we're just in a crazy year, and this is just how it is, and you, gotta, and you have an opportunity to be playing the championship and you want to try to take advantage of it. If I can ask something else, uh, one, maybe you just call it publicity for Georgia Tech and not exposure for Georgia Tech. But, yeah, uh, publicity might be a better word. You, yeah, exposure maybe this day is not a good word yeah. because with, with, with testing, with, with contact tracing and exposure. But um, obviously with Jose, though, it, it can only help to have a day off and to, to stay off his feet. Yeah, and well, we're, and, you know, Moses was banged up from yesterday, uh, his calf. Jose was banged up. Bubba hurt, hurt his hamstring, so – it's not the end of the world to get those guys some rest. But we, but we want good publicity tomorrow. We want good, good recognition. We're on television. There's more of the Georgia Tech name across ESPN. So that's a, that's a real positive. All right. We'll go next to Randy Waters with CW69. Go ahead, Randy. You're on mute, Randy. You're on mute, Randy. Go ahead, Randy. 69 isn't paying me today since we're not playing. Uh, well, I thought maybe you might be representing them on this call, but go oh, ahead. There you go. Um, Josh, other than the fact that there were a couple of reasons, one was seven feet and the other one was 6'11", uh, what were some of the issues uh, as far as uh, Moses being somewhat corralled yesterday? Moses didn't play well yesterday. It's just no other way to and, – and he knows it. And we talked about it. I told him you got to flush that game down the toilet. I mean, I, look – Moses writes the ACC player of the year. He, this guy has been from where he started. He, he, this is new to him. I, I don't think everyone understands that when you're this, he's a young man. This is new. He's got, every, I mean, for 48 hours, he was getting asked for interview after interview after interview. Cameras were in. People want to do stories. I, I knew he was not going to play well yesterday. I knew it. And, and Miami deserves credit on that. I mean, Miami deserves credit, but I knew all along he wasn't going to play. I just thought it was just going to be a hard game for him. I thought the pressure he was going to feel everywhere he was going, people had a camera by him following him. And it just, he's not, he's not used to that. He's just not used to that. He wasn't growing up in the AAU world and just, you know, being in the, he, this is new to him and uh, he'll play better. I thought he would be better tonight and, Tomorrow he'll play better. So he'll be ready to go tomorrow. I think having that one off game for him is going to make him just better tomorrow. Quick question. Here at the Sheraton, I mean, yesterday morning, Syracuse was getting their temperatures taken. And I was downstairs getting coffee. And I was kind of surprised, really. They were maybe 15 feet from me. Um, I, I thought maybe they would be more isolated at this facility. Are you all – comfortable with the amount of isolation you have in and around where you're staying? The best we're doing is really us. We're trying to, you know, now at our hotel, there's four teams, Virginia, us, Florida State, and Virginia Tech. The top four seeds are here. But, like, I have told our guys prior – so we, we got here Saturday, and I had told our guys, you know, look, you know, you just – you got to avoid – because, look, I understand, you know, you know other – the players know other players on the other team. You want to talk to them. You want to ride the – I told you have to avoid them. Nothing in a personal situation. It's just because of COVID-19 and how the – you know, you know, I've read a lot about it, about, you know – and, again, I'm not a scientist or doctor, but I trust the doctors and the scientists. And they all say it's the – in close quarters, indoors, elevators, restaurants – you know, air, uh, air droplets. So to avoid that, you got to avoid those, those situations and just stay in your bubble. And, um, so we've tried to do the best we can on that, you know, and, and we've tried to just stay away from everybody. Like I said, I've avoided getting in elevators with people as our guys have just because you, you don't want to be rude. You just, you're just trying to get to, you try to get to Indianapolis. Uh, and you're following what the doctors and scientists have said. That's what they say. They say, don't be in closed quarters, people that are not in your bubble. So you're following, you know, you got to follow the experts. And that's what they say. And um, so Virginia, I, from my understanding, Virginia's che checked out of our hotel. Virginia checks checked out. So it's just us in Florida State uh, at this place right now. All right, we've got four questions in the queue. We'll take those four and then see where we are time-wise. Uh, Rod McKenzie, 247 Sports, go ahead. Hey, Josh, after the game, you mentioned the maybe lack of energy from your team to start the game. 
how is the energy in practice today? And do you, at, the, at this point, just prepare your own team as opposed to preparing for a specific team? Yeah, we, we've played both North Carolina and Florida State. We beat them both. Um, but um, we practiced We just did shooting today and did just our stuff. And we'll watch the game tonight and then have a shoot around tomorrow. I mean, you can see because of all the calls I've gotten this morning, I haven't even had a chance to comb my hair. Um, I mean, I'm just I, – because I've just been on the phone and figuring all this out and trying to figure it all out. So, um, anyway, yeah, so we haven't – we just did us, focused on us, and we'll worry about whoever we play tonight. We'll get together as a staff, um, just talk about it, and then watch some film tomorrow with the guys and then go play tomorrow night. Next to Billy Witz with the New York Times. Go ahead, Billy. Yeah, hi, hi, Josh. Um, was there any discussion um, or earlier this uh, this year or late last year when, when uh, discussions about the, the ACC tournament came up about creating more space between the tournament, the, between the ACC tournament and the NCAA tournament? Um, no, Billy, uh, that was never discussed uh, in our league meet in our conference call meetings that we had uh, through, you know, all summer and all fall. Um, the only thing, I mean, one of the main things we talked about, and you know, I mean, like Coach K had had uh, he tried and he said, and we all 15 coaches got on board and got shot down pretty quick. But we all said everyone goes to the tournament this year. That was kind of the the thing from the ACC that we were all pushing for. Um, but nothing about spacing in between the conference tournament or anything that was never brought up. It was more about coach K, which, and we all, and all the other 14 coaches, you know, plus with coach K all wanted to try to say, get all 300 and some odd teams in the tournament. But, you know, that kind of got shot down within about six hours. It did. Um, you know what? You're very, um, I don't know, bullish on the idea that, Okay, once we just get to Indianapolis, everything will be be fine. I guess there's I think there's been four conferences that have had COVID issues pop up. I mean, I think so what there's sixty eight teams in Indianapolis times thirty five people in each tier one. I mean, that's a lot of I, my quick yeah. math tells me that's a little over two thousand people. No. So, well, well, Billy, I, and not you, no, you're right, Billy. There's no, there's no safe proof. The, why, why I'm saying you're probably protecting the NCAA from, from, and again, this is from my understanding on the protocols. So, the, in the uh, NCAA has bought out four hotels. We have you have a, everyone. Get, so, like for example, when we go to Indianapolis, we'll have a a, a, a room just for ourselves or a, a floor just to ourselves. You have to quarantine for 24 days. You cannot leave the room. They will bring food to you. You cannot, everyone's in their room for quarantining. You got to continue to test. You can't go down and use the workout room. Every time you go eat in a meal room, a practice, whatever it may be, there has to be a, you have to meet the person from the NC2A and there's got to be a checklist that everyone's accounted for. Same thing going on the bus. So, so Billy, it's not, it's not, um, yeah, it's not a thousand percent, hundred percent safe proof, but the, the measures they've put in, I mean, you would all, you would, in your negative testing, um, you're such in a bubble there that, um, you know, if you're, it'd be hard unless you kind of went out, you're, you're not, no one's going to be able to come in the floors. You can't see anybody. No one's coming in the hotel. It'd probably be more of a situation where somebody, a team that is not isolated right now is at home and then goes to Indianapolis. And then all of a sudden something pops up because of something before they went there. But that's why you got to have the seven negative tests prior to arriving. And we've tested since last Saturday, or excuse me, last Sunday. We've tested every day since last Sunday with the preparation knowing seven straight days. We're hoping that we can leave Sunday or the latest Monday morning to get to Indianapolis. Okay. Okay. Thanks very much. Yep. No problem, Billy. Back to Kelly Quinlan with Rivals. Go ahead, Kelly. Josh, I know this is very <clears throat> serious and hard and stuff, but – do you guys take some some are you guys trying to enjoy the moment and where you are compared to where you started and and that you're even in this position to play for a championship regardless of kind of how it came about yeah no question i mean come on i mean we, we lost to georgia state and mercer to open the season and considering that 
that what was at stake for this year. How we finished last year, then to open up this year to lose those two games, and and I everybody knew we needed to get to the tournament this year. I mean, there was no like secret about it. To 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 start from there to get to this point is is amazing. It's you know I'll probably when I get to May I'll be able to really look back and say wow. Um, but yes, you know I don't take it for granted. I mean, I, you know twenty we've had twenty two ACC twenty three ACC wins if you include yesterday's win over the last two years in this league at Georgia Tech. It's not like you know we're just you know I and mean, we've had to build this back to this point to get twenty three in the last two years is very very hard to. And I know there's been a lot of stuff that we've had to deal with on and off the court that's been just not fun for anybody. Trust me, I can tell you that over and over. And so to get to that point in this league, had the player of the year, the defensive player of the year, two separate guys, the records that we've set this year, how many records we've set that has never been done in the history of Georgia Tech and or things that hadn't been done since 30 years ago, 25 years ago, it's just, it's, it's really a, a, a real compliment to our young men and just our staff, our guys have done it. Our, our, our staff has been incredible and our student athletes have just what they've done to get this, to get us to this point has just been, words can't describe it. It really is amazing for what we've been able to do over this time period, especially where, not only where we started two years ago or even the beginning of this season, but from when we started the program and everything in between and to get to this point over this over this two year run has been darn special. Okay, and we'll wrap up with Allison Mastrangelo with WSB TV. Go ahead, Allison. Hey, I just wanted to follow up. You said that your team already had their COVID test today. When do you expect those results? Is it another scenario where it could be tomorrow morning you find out that you guys are good to go or not good to go? What no, does that no. look like? What they do, Allison, is it's they use safe site. So we, we, we do the, uh, the, the uh, nose swab and they come back instantly. So like I already got my results back negative. So they, it's, they can do 36 at a time. So we have, you know, how many people, 34 in our group. So they put them all in. So I'm assuming every, you know, knock on wood, everything's good. Cause I think we would have heard something by now. So then I don't know, next time we test won't be until after the game tomorrow. So I'm assuming we're good to go. Now we just need either Florida State or North Carolina after their game tonight will test whoever wins. But it's, it's safe. It's called safe site. It's a nasal swab. They give you the results within an hour and um, it goes to your phone and, uh, it, and it's a PCR test. So that's how it's, that's how it's being done. Cool. So right now you're, you're saying you're right, good to right, go. I, yeah, I, 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 mine's on my wallet and, um, um, and that you can, I don't know if you can really even see it, but, it's that's what it is. It's just on my wallet. It's just it's a status negative result for March 12th. Uh, I took the test at 11:55 a.m. So um, I've already texted my trainer uh, 17 times and you know waiting. And he said I haven't got all the results back yet. But I think we're good, Coach. But just I'll let you know and I'll text him again. Hey, any word? I haven't got it back yet, Coach. But that's my constant. If anyone knows me, I repeat myself a lot, and you should see how I treat my trainer. I'm like repeating to him all. Hey, I know you told me this, but I need to know any word. Come on, let me know. Give me some input here because we're just depending on the – I just want to know we're negative, so we're playing the game tomorrow night at 8.30. Okay, Coach, thanks a lot for uh, being with us, and thanks to everybody for joining the call today.